Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Tonight I'm standing in front of a couple of uh, King Airs. We have an F90 1980 and a C90 GTX, which is a 2018. The F90 is the OCR company airplane and the C90 GTX is a, is a customer's airplane. And this video is the first of two parts we're gonna do. We're gonna focus tonight on the F90, tell you a little bit about some of the improvements, uh, upgrades, and uh, just show you how it flies. And uh, let's go. Clear for takeoff 3090 Charlie Romeo. So we got pitos, stall, fuel vents. Speed's alive, cross check, engine instruments are green, pick up power set, 108, 58, positive rate, gears coming up, gears up. We're out of 15,000 now uh, in the F-90 King Air. Um, we're gonna be leveling off at 17.5 on a short hop out to uh, Borrego Valley. And the the 90 series King Airs, uh, uh, C-90, I think came out in uh, 1971. And uh, I believe the Dash 28 motors, the E-90, they upgraded the horsepower a little bit. And the F-90, which this airplane is, uh, they didn't build a lot, I think from about 1980 to 85. I forget how many they built, but, but uh, a lot of people believe this was you know, the best 90 series, but it was cutting into the 200, the King Air 200s, in terms of performance, so that's why they didn't build them very long. It's got the T-tail, looks really good. It's got a shorter wing, you know, the, the, the Dash 135 motors. And uh, just a really good uh, ninety series King Air. This particular airplane uh, has been upgraded with uh, avionics, paint, and interior. That's got a couple of uh, G six hundreds, a couple of seven fifties, um, XM weather, traffic, ADSB, uh, and then some of the standby or the original instruments that are in a standby configuration. It has the original autopilot in it, which I believe is a Sperry autopilot. And some, the Craig, who owns a plane uh, for the company, uh, looked at replacing and upgrading, but uh, this autopilot's done really well for him. Uh, it's got some limitations and not fully integrated into the, the G600, but it does a really nice job, and it's holding altitude here really well. And I haven't flown it a lot, but it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward and easy to easy to manipulate um, but this gives you an example of what you can do with a you know an early airframe to upgrade uh, avionics and it gives you you know a lot of capability of the new factory new airplanes and then you know when you upgrade interior and uh, paint and 
like I said earlier, this is one of the best looking King Airs uh, they ever built. In comparison with the the new C90 GTX, which uh, Cessna just, or I'm sorry, Beechcraft just recently stopped producing, I think maybe last year, uh, they have the Proline Fusion, which is the latest uh, upgrade to the Proline 21. And uh, you'll see that in another uh, video. We're gonna we're gonna fly the C90 GTX with the Proline Fusion, and I don't have a lot of experience with that, but it's a pretty nice package as well. But again, the comparison is you got a you know 40 year old airplane with state of the art avionics um, that gives you you know similar performance and capability. As far as uh, performance goes in this F90, we're at 17.5 and uh, pretty much got our torque uh, maxed out at this altitude. And we're doing about 255 knots true airspeed on about 100 gallons an hour, 650, a little under 100 gallons an hour, 650 pounds an hour. If we went up a little higher, we'd get probably uh, similar true airspeed, maybe a little less at a uh, little lower fuel burns, which would probably be on a long cross country, be something you do in this airplane. But uh, again, we'll, We'll fly the, the GTX and get a little bit more speed out of that. It's got different motors on it, and, and, uh, but, but very close in, in terms of performance. And like, you know, Beechcraft uh, products, really all certified airplanes, they're really very stable and, and uh, solid feeling in cruise. The pressurization system in this airplane is working really good. We got about a 4,000 foot cabin at, uh, at 17.5, and it's, it's made its max diff just like it's supposed to and it's it's doing just great so a really solid nice feeling airplane uh, good comfortable ride quiet with the Bose headsets and uh, you know very comparable to what you might experience in a, in a new one as far as uh, speed and uh, comfort level good green flaps are land bring the props up. I'm just gonna leave the props where they're at It looks pretty good. The thing about uh, these turboprops, for me, you know, I got more recent flying experience in jets. You pull the powered idle in the jets and not much happens really. Pull the powered idle in these and the props flatten out and it really can, if they're not even, it can be all you one way or the other. Five hundred. Right into the sun.
descending now down back to Long Beach out of uh, about 7,000. We're going to... 270, Charlie Romeo, fly heading 270, I'd like to find out where it's going. 270, Charlie Romeo. We're going to uh, shoot an ILS and see if I can make this autopilot do a couple uh, ILS approach, so we'll see how it works. So what I would do here now is uh, I'd go to procedure and I would activate vectors to final. And then I would change the CDI to a green needle. Look at that, man. Then I would hit approach. So the ramp is approved, landing will be at your own risk, wind 2705. Lomich Tower, Cessna 6111, Quebec, holding short to 6 right, right close traffic. Cessna 6111, Quebec, right close traffic approved, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff to 6 right, 11 Quebec. King Air 0 Charlie Romeo, say taxi request. Taxi OCR 0 Charlie Romeo. King Air 0 Charlie Romeo, Roger, remain on my frequency. Taxi to OCR via Delta, Delta 4, Julia 2, cross runway 26 left at Julia 2. Delta, Delta 4, Julia 2, cross 26 left on Julia 2. Uh, and then Foxtrot 4, 90 0 Charlie Romeo. Okay, back in the hangar after the uh, F-90 flight. I really had a great time in that airplane. I don't get to fly King Airs a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed flying it. Uh, the next video, uh, part two of this, will be uh, the C-90 GTX behind me. Looking forward to flying that one too. Hope you give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.